helping humanity grow in wisdom. Ability to connect with knowledge through audiobooks and retain that knowledge as your own and build on it to no end is beyond the powers of universe. Inheriting knowledge to build wisdom makes you unstoppable. And once you sit down to write a book of your own, you become infinite. We should not allow anyone to stand between us and our education. Inheritance of knowledge is extremely important to our mental health, to how we treat each other, and how we interact with the world. Books are the loveliest things in the world. My time listening to A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson is such a wonderful memory. I still smile at how shy Henry Cavendish was, and sometimes I worry about Kimberlite pipes popping up somewhere nearby. You never know. The part where Conway Morris muttered, Not another phylum! got me when I was jogging in the middle of the night in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I almost suffocated from laughter. See, a school can't present knowledge this way. I know that there are many amazing professors, but most of them probably have a fantastic book or series of lectures out. Knowledge has to be presented with love and joy and maybe a hint of comedy. Schools of today are cold-hearted machines incapable of those emotions. We can't just pass the tests that the school expects us to cram for. We need the actual knowledge and wonders that will help us become wise. Life is always asking us to pick a direction. The wiser we become early on, the happier we will be on the paths we choose. We must not become tricked into believing we are bad at learning. There's just no such thing as bad at learning. Bad grades just prove that middle school, high school, and college are seriously broken. The kids that do get good grades and become successful learn outside of school, and they certainly do not cram before tests. They actually learn for real. Learning and schools should not be two separate things. And there should never be a threat of someone becoming tricked into thinking that they are not smart. This is a global problem. The leaders and policymakers who did cram for tests, they too need a real education that will contribute to their wisdom. This is not just about fixing high school. This is about helping humanity grow in wisdom.